Starlina Haja was the daughter of a Muscogee Red Stick Creek chief from the Wind Clan. As matriarch, she raised her son, Talmuchis Hajo, aka Peter McQueen, to be a fearless warrior chief and prophet. Through my DNA test results, I was able to trace our McQueen lineage back eight generations to her, then went back even further to 11 generations to a matriarch, Sehoy Kuseta. Because of Indian Wars and the Trail of Tears, we were disconnected from our Native American heritage, but through DNA, we're able to reconnect the dots to a pre-Columbian culture and to DNA relatives descended from Sehoy Kuseta and the McQueen clans. My mom, Lillian McQueen, was born in South Carolina. So when my and my maternal uncle's test results came back with our origins in Alabama, I had to filter the results to find Alabama McQueens. That's when I found Starlina's husband, James McQueen a Scot-Irishman born in 1690. It's through him that I trace our Talisi tribal connections to a Mississippian chiefdom in the southeastern ceremonial complexes during pre-Columbian times. These Amerindians were known as Mississippians and lived in ceremonial mound building complexes in the southeastern United States prior to European contact and colonial settlements. In essence, what child doesn't grow up wanting to trace their ancestry to kings and queens? Who does not want to be descended from royalty? Well, that's the case with my Native American heritage. <laughs>